it's yam farming season. Yams everywhere. Yam farming season. It's yam farming season. One more sea yams. I came to buy seed yams, but I'm seeing big, big tubers. Yet to find seed yams to buy. That's for us. Crazy. Okay, I think I've seen some. Some. Yeah. Some CD I'm here, I'm going to get. Come on, get. All right. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, you got on you. Yeah. How do they sell? How do they sell? How do they sell? How do they sell? How much? 60, How many do they have? 100. Okay, that's too much now. That's like 600. Why now? For no. She is for now. CD I'm not the like much. Wow. And then they plant her now. CD I'm 600. No. How much? So, um, like two years ago, I, I kind of bought this one for like um, about 200 naira or so. What I farm. But currently now is about 600 naira. I mean, Everybody has to go into farming. Do you understand? Things like a food stuff is quite expensive right now. So, I mean, if I want to farm this now, to buy maybe like to get like hundred or two hundred heaps, I'll be spending close to like um, almost hundred thousand. Man, so I think it's high time everybody goes into the farm, develop your crops, plant, feed your family. Do you understand? Because man, if you want to keep buying, man, who knows what's going to be next year? So farm this year. It's time to farm yam. So farm this year. Thank you. The best way to plant this. This, yeah, the best way to um, plant this yam after cutting it so that to avoid pesticides like what I experienced in my last video you remember uh, when I planted um, all this is it bush cut, grass cutter or bush rat or whatever it was coming to harvest the yams so I'm just getting the information that the best way to plant it you are, there's something you're going to put in the yam what do you call that stuff? perfect killer perfect killer you put perfect killer once cut it you put perfect killer before you now plant it right? yes and when you now plant it then it's what, what does it do? What does the perfect killer do? for the parasite not to touch the yam okay, okay. It's, it stops those things those animals those parasites from coming to feast on the yam then I mean you have good harvest so that's what I'm going to do this time around I'm going to show you in the next video how I'm going to apply the perfect killer uh, pesticides to stop insects or all these grass cutters and all those things that harvest yams from coming to eat the yams so well the one I actually showed you previously which was which is going for about um, 500 600 naira per yam there are other ones bigger ones I'm going to show them to you right away there are bigger ones that are going for like 65 I mean um, 650 naira uh, per yam 700 naira per yam uh, to Basi. they are quite bigger than the other ones so let me just flip the camera now and you're going to get to see that right away this is the man I'm going to purchase the yams from right away yes yes he's going to give me the best yam I'm going to plant then if anything happens to my yam I'll come and catch it you look for Mr. Black this is a um, uh, Maraba uh, Orange Market. Yeah, yeah. Yes, um, I've shown you video around what it looks like. So thanks very much. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel right now. Women for Lifestyle. Thank you. Those are the bigger yams, 600, 700. Now nah, nah, these are the other ones, um, 500 there about each. So I think I'm going to go for. Well, let me make up my mind and purchase. I'm going to buy 100 two bars. I don't finally buy yam more. Now 55,000 I buy, but it's 100 pieces. So that's what I finally bought. That's each one 550 naira for the yams. Look at this. Look at the size. They say it's giveaway price. You know? Chairman says it's giveaway price. At 50, 550 naira each of this yam. This one can give you into three heaps. Okay, they say this one can give me three or four. Ah, it, the yam, the produce will be too small now. It will be, it will be too small. Now what they tell you? Yeah. This yam, this yam, not the last big. Okay. So you can divide this one into four four leaves. This way that's what I'm for matter for me. Yeah. Alright, let's see how it goes. Slide it like this. This way that's what I'm for. Don't cut it like this. Yes. Give it like this. Okay. Two, three, four. Okay. You have knife, you can divide one for you. Okay. Alright, no no problem. I'll yes. I will give you. I have his number. Yes. So I'll call him. This one. You can 
been told at least this one can give me three hits like that. I'm buying each of these now for 550 naira. That's 55,000 naira for 100 yams. That 100 yams, if I divide it to two, it should give me 200 hits and 200 produce of yams. I'm currently going to the POS stand. The madam is taking me to the POS stand where I'm going to go and make my payments because they don't have POS. Please. This one am I Jara now, Abi? No. Put that now, ah. Uh. No. Why no? Give me Jara. No, 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 no. 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 Now give me Jara. Now I'm worried are you buy. No, this one now. Hi, madam. Make you put for me Jara. No, no, no. Then no give me Jara. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm asking for Jara and they're refusing to give me Jara. Jara actually means extra, like, okay, all right, they are giving me some extra yams based on the amount I bought. So, yeah, this is one of the guys that sold it to me. So, no Jara for me. Mama, <laughs> After loading the yam, the hundred yam seedlings into this sack, they tie it up and prepare it for me to take it away. Wow, what an experience here. So as I don't have a car now, I'm I'm carrying a bike. I'm using the bike to take what I bought home. to the market today to get this I'll use it for the yam it's going to stop all this uh, it smells very well it smells bad if you stop rabbits from coming to eat my yam dried away snakes copy on and all that you can also use this for people different ideas so I'll apply it to the yam and plant I just want to get it now from an agroalide shop a bit agroalide I've been out in the color <laughs> but that's what it is so these yams are pre remains from previous harvest. I'm 
gonna add it to the ones I just got yesterday. These are the ones I got yesterday from the market. You saw the video already. So I'll add them all up together and farm. The hips are being made right now. So let's go check out the hips being made. So the hips are being made. Good now, I'm on you, Haka. Now, so 300. Uh, then the rest is in Sa Wake. So, now I want to open the sack of yams that I bought. Remember the yam I, I went to buy yesterday at, uh, what do you call it, Masaka Orange Market. It's an orange and yam market. I mean, foodstuffs have been sold there. All kinds of foodstuff. Remember, I didn't want to farm this year, but after going to the market several times, you remember the last video I posted, I posted on how beans had skyrocketed from 500 Naira to over 2,200 Naira. I'm sure it's more than that as I speak now because we are in June already. Today is, is it 3rd or 4th of June? So, I mean, like, I'm compelled to even though I don't want to. So, all right, now I'm going to sharpen my knife, which, with which I'm going to cut this yam into two parts and three parts. Then I'm going to dip it into this chemical that I bought. I just got this chemical. I've shown you the video before. I'm going to dip it into this chemical so that it will prevent termites and all these um, bush rats, rabbits from coming to dig up the yams to eat. So I'll put the name there. There are different brands, but this one I just got today. This is, can also be used for fumigation. It will dispel all these um, rodents, reptiles from the farm area and even your house area so this can be used for fumigation i'll even use it in my house for fumigation also so this is it Very, very heavy. These are 100 tubers of yam seedlings to be farmed, to be planted. 100 tubers. So, someone, something like this now. I think this can go in three parts. One, two. So, normally, when, if you check out various videos on YouTube, you see that the best way to cut this yam is slanted. I don't really know the reason, but you can research it. <laughs> but it's slanted like this. They don't cut like this. I know I made this mistake the first time I farmed yam, but now I've already learned. And they told me the same thing at the yam market. So I'll cut like this. So that's how I'm going to plant them. I have three there. Um, Maybe I should just do this too. The knife is still also not so sharp though. I'm going to have about 200 seeds to plant. So 250 seeds to plant from, from these 100 tubers.
So normally people that sell Uber Motorly pass by the house and we normally stop them to buy. So this is an example. Enjoy. <laughs> it's part of the whole documentary. <laughs> You know what I say? I go do documentary for your market. <laughs> you go see her now. <laughs> you go there now. You go there again there now. For your market, it's not far. How much? Uh, that's six five hundred. Alright. Madam, that's six five hundred. That's six five hundred. Yeah, mama, mama. Africa, Africa. You don't even put Jara out. I pass it every time. But they buy, you get other people, they, they buy from other people now. Because of strike, you do buy it. I used to pass it, no problem. Even if you knock. Yeah. But you don't give me Jara, so I don't go buy again. I will give you next time, no problem. Okay. I will give you next time. I will give you next time. I will give you next time. Okay. If they buy for other people, make it a compare their seat. Okay. Okay. Those long ones will cut it three places. Mm, but don't worry, just cut down. So this is going to prevent termites and those rabbits and all those stuff from 
for me to feast on the yam. Meanwhile, the oranges are beginning to come out. Oranges. I'm expecting my first fruits of the oranges. So right now, we are trying to uh, make 300 um, yam heaps. We're going to plant about 300 yam heaps. And actually, we'll probably make more heaps because of sweet potatoes. We're going to also plant sweet potatoes. But for now, we have about 250 seedlings of yams, which I'm preparing. I just showed you the video. Then um, we're going to make probably more heaps. I don't really know how much more heaps I want to make for the sweet potatoes. Because we're going to also have sweet potatoes. Then on this other section, we're going to have, um, on this other section, we're going to have um, maybe probably granite or, or uh, what do you call it? Then after granite is harvested, we'll plant the beans again. So keep up with Omenoko Lifestyle channel. If you have not subscribed to the channel, kindly hit the like button, subscribe, share, and drop a comment for whatever you feel we can improve upon and all that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so um, I want to... So after soaking the yams, I'm going to actually now pour it into this um, in spray sprayer so that I can go and spray the farm with the insecticide or with the pesticide also. There is a filter in this um, sprayer that prevents the hard particles from going in also. So my yams. These are the ones I've soaked in the chemical. Don't forget that that chemical also chases away scorpions, snakes, and 
every other form of reptile around the house. So as I boil around the compound, all those um, kind of reptiles or whatever it is will find their way out of this place. Then I'll repeat the same process. Let me go get more water in this. Repeat the process while I take that to the farm and spray. This is the water I use to soak the yams and um, I'm spraying it also on the farm. This chips chases away reptiles like I said earlier, snakes, scorpions, rodents and termites. It, um, it helps to prevent all these termites from eating your yams that you're going to, that the yams that I'm going to plant. So that's what I'm doing now. Then after this, I brought some of the yams here. They are there. So I'm going to go bring the rest of the yams. Then we're going to plant each one on each of these heaps that have been made currently. These are all the steps we take in farming. As it is now globally, food is becoming so expensive. So what is being done is that if you have any piece of land, any little piece of land at all, whatsoever, it's good you utilize it for farming. Well, this was found here while doing the hips, and it has been killed. I don't know what kind of animal this is, though. God damn. It's still alive. The tail is still shaking, but the head is off. I think i ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้ไอ้
and we'll be glad to have you on our platform. Thank you very much. Okay, all right, so we have done with the hip. And if you can see, we have carefully placed each yam seed up on each of the hips. So now, with my hoe, I want to start farming. So I'm going to open it something like this. This is one of the yam seeds. I'm going to open it like this. It's just simple. I'm placing it on the side, close to the top, close it, and that's all. So I'm going to do a few more. So you get the hang of it. Close to the top. So I continue with the fumigation while my assistant Samara continues, I mean goes ahead planting the, um, what do they call it again, sweet potatoes on the extra hips. We are done at this point planting the yams. Samara is helping with the sweet potatoes. So we are also adding sweet potatoes now to the remaining heaps. We have about 20 heaps or so. We're going to do much more later. But for now, we're using the 20 heaps to add free 20 heaps to add more sweet potatoes. That's what we're doing now. While I'm still for me, I continue with the fumigation of the area. I use these leaves to identify the empty heaps so that we can put potatoes in them. I'm just waking up from sleep. Omo, let me see. Let me clean this lens. Yeah, I'm just waking up from sleep. <sighs> yeah, that's the farm. That, those are the yam farm. The first train after planting. I can't believe that I'm the fool. No, baby. I know the story. I've seen the picture. Is written all over your face sadly you never gave me so many chances to show you how much i care one more man i beg make gonna subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe to my channel like this video comment share it to those people that want to farm i'll do the part two of this video to show you how the harvest i have a lot of harvest Videos on yams because I've done yams over the past three or four years, so I really don't know if I still want to do that right now. But whatever the case may be, this is the end of this video for now. Part one, maybe I'll do a harvest video, maybe I won't. Whatever, whatever the case is, I already have videos on yam farming, so 
thank you for watching i really appreciate if you watch to this extent please like the video drop a comment for me you know so the algorithm knows how they try now i understand it's not easy doing a documentary like that so if you can like the video share it subscribe and ask your questions and all that thank you very much god bless you